One night, 12 hours, all for the annual purge. All I need is one of those super cool masks that these guys had in the trailers. There you go, intimidating or what? And my weapon of choice, my fists and feet, let's go out and purge. Yeah, I wouldn't last that night, I'd be dead. Okay, so The Purge, Anarchy. The Purge Anarchy is a sequel to the first one that which came out last year, and this is like sort of a way that the guys from the first one are telling us that we are going to do the second one the right way. Brand new cast, brand new story, no more annoying stupid ass kid. Because we all hated him, don't kid yourself. Can you guys even hear me? I'm like practically yelling in this thing. Oh shit, nope. Ah. <sighs> it's too hot in that thing. And when I was going into this purge, I was a little bit skeptical. Because how does a movie that came out last year get a sequel the following year that that's not good? That spells bad news. So I went into this movie with an open mind. And how this movie started off, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Because they're focusing on three different sets of main characters. They focus on a mother and daughter, and honestly, you don't really care about them. They focus on a husband and wife, and you still didn't care about them. However, they did kind of make me laugh. They're going through a breakup, and the husband's trying to act like Charlie Hunnam from Pacific Rim. He's just like, Babe, don't break up with me. We're drift compatible. Bad impersonation? I know. And the next character they focus on is Frank Grillo. You know, the dick bag from Captain America the Winter Soldier. Which makes my poster in the back relevant. And honestly, Frank Grillo was the best character in the whole movie. But I really loved his character. He had layers to him and he was a really damaged guy. And he saw the purge as an opportunity to get back at someone who wronged him in the past. He's basically thirsty for revenge and you honestly cheer for him. Made me go like, you go dick bag from Captain America the Winter Soldier. Yeah, you end up actually liking him. And through a series of circumstances, these three different sets of characters, they meet up and they all have to survive the night together out in the city. A good 15-20 minutes is when the movie actually gets good. I was actually surprised, I thought I was gonna tear the shit out of this movie. The first one was like a stupid little home invasion movie, but no, in this one they are all out trying to survive the night in the city. I love that transition. It was sort of like going from Batman Arkham Asylum to Batman Arkham City. And Frank Grillo's Batman. However, they still stuck with the same CGI blood from the last one. The kills, they don't look good at all. I felt like this movie was afraid to show them how far they can go with the violence. The team must go like, oh no, we don't want to show someone's head getting chopped off. When they would get shot, it's like the worst CGI blood I would ever see. I mean, come on, a movie like The Purge where it's about people killing other people, don't be afraid to show us the good stuff. And honestly, stuff like that is our purge. And the characters that Frank Grillo was set up with, I'm just like, you're gonna eventually get Frank Grillo killed. For example, a big giant 18 wheeler with full of bad guys and where the door opens from the back and there's a guy operating a machine gun. It comes around the corner and Charlie Hunnam clearly sees it from a distance. The husband, basically. And he did what any other generic character would do. He just stared at it like... Oh shit, they're coming! It's like, no, too late, dude. The movie got a little predictable at times. It did the whole jump scare formula, and you honestly knew when they were gonna come. The characters would be walking down the city, and you're like, okay, they're gonna come in three, two, one, boom, they're there. And I was right. Like, come on, that's, that's just no fun. Seriously, by the end of this movie, you have a lot of questions unanswered. Mostly on certain characters, I'm not gonna tell you who they are. And by the end of this movie, you're like, well, what happened to them? And the movie just ends like that, and I'm just like, oh, I, I guess the movie's over. Hopefully they explain in the next Purge, like, let's be honest, they're gonna make another Purge. In the end, I love how they took the fights to the city in this Purge. Frank Grillo's character was worth watching, he was absolutely kick-ass. But the characters he was set up with, you just didn't really care about them. There was a little bit of illogic within the characters, and it was a little bit predictable. What are you guys doing? The deaths didn't look good at all, it was all CGI. I hated that. But it was the twist and turn of events that actually kind of made the movie for me. The story was actually pretty good. I mean, The Purge Anarchy, it's okay. Don't spend all your money. I would much rather see it in the $2 theater. It'll be okay if you miss it on the big screen. Have you guys seen The Purge Anarchy? Do you think it's better than the first Purge? Please let me know what you guys think. Be sure to leave a like and comment on the video. And as always, there's my link below for my Twitter account and my Facebook page. Keep in contact with me. But in the meantime, I have to get going. Gotta end this with my Purge mask.